the DRT50ZJX2 brushless router. Ta da! There's nothing there. Throw it away. There's the baby. There's no rules. There's no rules. What is that thing? Oh, there is. There we go. Hello. Hmm? This is the router. Um, why does it have so many blooming parts? Because we got it with all the parts. So we could use it as a plunge router. But I don't know how to work this thing because I don't know how to work many things. Oh, that would set your height on that. You would just turn it as you need to. to okay. And then you'd plunge it away. Okay, so first thing. Inside the box, it is extremely neat. See, it comes with this whole oh, wow. little oh, wow. so thing. Little carry bag thing. Yes. You can take out. For absolutely everything. So that is amazing. Okay, so well done, Nikita, on your... And this is the standard Jake base here. that it comes with, eh? But, but this is nice because this adds like a little fence to it. So you can... So you would just take this off, I suppose, like by opening that, eh? And this adjusts it eh, up and down to the size. But you can just pull that whole thing off and you can pop this thing on. Does it go that same place? Yeah, because there's that same wheel there. Eh? So you'd have to open this as well, obviously. And then you'd pop that in there if you wanted to put it. And it would set that and you'd set. And then you have to set it to how deep you want to go. It's a very it's a beautiful tool. Very neat, eh? It feels quite solid, eh? It does. You know, I've read in things that it was quite light, but this actually, it feels like quite a solid animal. So it doesn't your... come with a battery, eh? No, it does not. We do not buy a, a battery. With oh, I see what this is for. This is for if you want to do angles, eh? You check, that's, that works on degrees, eh? And there's a little measure to tell you how many degrees you're doing. But that's obviously not one. So what we... are we going to use now? We're probably going to use um, this piece here. We, we could have this. cleaned our floor before we did this, but anyway. Um, <laughs> this thing's beautiful. So we're going to use this now. Um, let's first put the, th this is the one we're going to use, but we're going to use it with this fence, eh? And we'll have to set the fence how we want it. Because what I want to, what I want to achieve is, look here, I want, um, okay, hold on. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this. What are you trying to headbang us? He's got here, warts huh? in his ears, man. <laughs> I've been diving all day, so. See, I'm going to want 10 million that, but how's that going to happen? You see, this fence is too far away from anything to work like that. Okay, we're going to take some time to figure this out. Okay. So if you want your fence to be close by, you want to do that, and we want to make multiple passes. Remember with the router, Gabe, you always move from left to right, eh? So let's put a bit in first, eh? Let's put a bit in first. Before we do this, let's put a bit in first. Okay. You can always cut There's out your what little you don't want, eh? box. box. Yeah, give us a straight cut. I want like this. We should have a rabbit bit for this, but we don't have a rabbit. We're going to use like a straight cut bit and make, take multiple passes. I'm going to do about. Um, let's do this big bit here. But we're just going to open here. It's a quarter inch. Pop that in there. Okay, so it's actually really easy to put everything in. Yeah. And then you will That's take That's amazing. A, I love this thing already. these two spanners. Ta da! Some extra little bits. And you would hold this. I wonder if you'd have that bit all the way in there, like the top of the thing. So let's just give it some space out there. I'm not sure if that's correct though. It seems like there's lots of space in there for it to grip on. Because remember this thing flies it. Okay, that's tight enough. That was easy enough to do. And then we pop this thing in here. It really does look very nice. It's very shiny. And shiny is always nice. <laughs> hey? And you just set it to... We want... Um, give me a, a vernier, please, my boy. Because I want to take about 9 more in there. So how do I, so 9 mil, where's this thing measuring from me, check. So if it says there, it's 9 mil there, is it actually 9 mil over there? No, it's not. So let's look here, because I want 9 mil from the, 
from there to there. Actually, that looks about right, really. If that's nine mil there, then that's about what I want in. So then I'm going to close it there. Um, you can't, unfortunately, you can't adjust it when it's closed, when it's locked in position. But that's what we're going to use. Move your cam. Here we go. It takes the standard 18 volts from the future battery. It's very, it's a very beautiful machine. It's nice and solid. It's nice and heavy. And it, yeah. Okay, at least work it now. Grab it clips in there like that, and then you tighten this. What is that for? For the dust extractor. Yeah. Oh, wow. But I don't know if you're going to be able to hold this with a pump on the end of it. That's my worry. Okay, so if I have to, I have to unlock, then the light comes on, tells you on now. Then I'm putting on. And that's the speed, that's the slow speed I've got it on. But remember, um, let's just switch it off again. And if you leave it for 10 seconds, that lock will come on and you'll have to do that again, okay? Now, what do you do with the router? You've got to go from left to right. Why? Okay? Because of the way the blade is spinning. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to start with this little fence. And this is just a light cutout of 9 mil we're trying to do here. I've got a... See, unlock. <laughs> 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 